Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I'm going to be making over one of the Dollar Tree birdhouses. I grabbed one of the birdhouses and the wooden round pieces from Dollar Tree. This I got from Hobby Lobby, this little pedestal piece. Some jumbo craft sticks, these were also from Dollar Tree. A piece of garland, which I got in bulk from Amazon. Some florals, Spanish moss white and black chalk paint, home decor wax, and hot glue. First thing I did was painted the inner part of the birdhouse with the white chalk paint and the very bottom of it as well. I took the round piece from Dollar Tree, cut off the hanger, and used the home decor wax to cover that, and then used a wipe to blend it in. And I did that on the top and bottom of it and the sides. I used the black chalk paint and painted that little pedestal piece. And on this I just did one coat of the chalk paint. And then I painted all of the popsicle sticks with the black paint as well and I ended up using eight of these. So I just painted these front and back and the sides. Also painted the top of the birdhouse with the black color. And next what I did here was I took one of the popsicle sticks after it was painted and kind of lined it up with the roof of the birdhouse and cut it down where I would want it to start at the peak and then have the rounded part of the popsicle stick kind of hang over the roof just a little bit and then matched up the rest of the popsicle sticks with that one I had trimmed down at first. So after I had the popsicle sticks cut down, the larger ones that I had measured out, I placed one on there and then took one of the shorter pieces that was trimmed off, held that on top of the popsicle stick I had trimmed, and kind of lined that up so it would be on top of the longer one, but not going down as far. So you'll have a longer piece and a shorter piece, and then just trim up the um, rest of them to match. So you'll have four longer pieces on one side of the roof and four shorter pieces. The longer piece was probably about three inches and then the shorter piece probably about two inches. Once I had them all trimmed up, I took the longer pieces and placed those four down on one side of the roof. After I had the longer four glued on, I took my shorter pieces and glued those right on top of the pieces I had already glued down, making sure the tops of them lined up together. So once it's all done and glued, it'll look like that. And then you do the same thing to the other side. And then I just painted the very top of it where all the popsicle sticks were so you didn't see all that unfinished wood. You 
And next I hot glued the pedestal piece and put the birdhouse right on top of that, trying to get it as centered as possible. And then I took my little garland piece and I had just cut a piece off of this strip I had. It's a pretty long strip that I had bought. And what I did was just trimmed off some of the leaves on it and pulled them off and then used that wire to just wrap it around itself. So it was a little bit too long what I did at first. So then I just opened it back up and refolded it to make it a little bit smaller. Once I had the size that I liked, I just hot glued it right around the opening on the birdhouse. So it's super cute as is, but I wanted to do something a little extra, make it look like the birdhouse was kind of in a garden. So I glued this onto the wood round piece, kind of offset, so it was more towards the back. And then took Spanish moss and hot glued that all around the top of the round piece. After I had it all filled in with the moss, I just trimmed up any excess that was hanging over and then took my florals. These I got from Dollar Tree. I just grabbed a nice springy looking color and just pulled off the flowers. I didn't need any of the stems and then just hot glued them right on top of the moss, just filling it in nicely. And that is it. I just think it turned out so adorable. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.